Do I really need to say anything? Let's get into it. So guys, yes, we are on the ceiling. So today we are looking at the Edifier R1855DB headphones. So as we can see, they're multimedia speakers and I'm really excited about this. And again, we do have the Bluetooth version, so let's just jump straight into it. So I have already have these unboxed just so I could see roughly what I was working with and they are amazing as far as I can tell. So, little instruction manual as we always get. These are the R1855DB multimedia speakers. And this is going to tell you everything you need to know about these speakers. Now, these ones are going to be amazing. Now, these ones are slightly shorter than the ones I recently did, but they are angled. And I got these ones in the dark wood as well. Now, the one thing I did really find interesting about these ones is the cable. The cabling to connect the speakers through. So, the audio cable, they've changed, definitely. So as we can see here, we have a uh, four pin audio cables going on here. Now, if you remember from the last one, it was a, a dual line that was an open, an open wire, which I just had to slide it in the back of the connection in the back of the speaker, sorry. And they've definitely upgraded this time. So nice, thick four pin cable, dual audio cables. So we'll go through them later. So some of the other things that we do have in here, we do have our audio cables as well. So the coaxial, so the coaxial and aux cables going on here, but we won't be using these today. And one thing I did enjoy is they have upgraded their remote as well from the last one. So this was the remote for the previous uh, edifier. So this is the remote that came with the last speakers and they definitely have upgraded this now. So as you can see, we've got on off button, we've got play pause, we've got all that good stuff, line one, two, optical, coaxial, Bluetooth and mute. So that looks a hell of a lot nicer than the previous. It is a little bit chunkier, but it looks incredible. So I'm going to get these speakers out of the box and we're going to take a look at them together. So guys, here we have it. We have the speakers that we're going to be taking a look at today. And as we can see, they are slightly different than the ones I did before. If you do want to check that video out, it is up in the cards there. So you can go check it out for yourself. But these ones I'm extremely excited about. So a little bit about just on the outside. So if we go to the slave speaker, so as we can see here, they are set on an angle and they just look incredible. They do have the embellishments on the outside. And the only thing this one has is the audio connector on the back because that's all it needs. Now, as always, the face covers uh, are a felt filter, but these always do pop off and it looks unbelievable. So there we go. So as we can see here, we've got the four pins going on there and we have our huge speakers going on. And don't worry, we are going to be doing an audio test because I'm sure you are very excited to check that out as well. So they, these ones did come in jet black and these are MDF wood as well as it is a sound buffer output, but there is also three dials on the back of the main speaker itself. So we do have our volume control, treble and bass rockers going on here. We have our line one and two for our aux cables. We have optical, coaxial, and there is a sub out as well. So we can connect a subwoofer to this also. And then we have our speaker connection going on down at the bottom and then just a simple on off switch also but i have to admit these speakers do look absolutely incredible and yes there is a 10 degree tilt so it is going to be a little bit different of an experience compared to the last ones i reviewed but i guarantee the sound quality is going to be absolutely insane so instead of wasting so much time why don't i just jump straight into the specifications we'll talk about these guys and then we'll go to the most important part which is the sound test and how these are going to be performing. So we'll do that now. We'll get straight into it. And boom, we'll go from there. So guys, when it comes to the Edifier R1855 dB active Bluetooth bookshelf speakers, there is a lot going for them. So they are bringing back an old school design with the latest technology. So these do have, act these are active speaker systems designed with a 10 degree angle to accurately direct sound to you in a luxurious MDF wooden enclosure. So this enclosure is geared up to minimize acoustic resonance. So the mid woofer output produces quality sound and performance. So the bass vibrates any room and space it inhabits, creating an ideal atmosphere for entertainment. 
So the classic and fun with the latest Bluetooth technology allows playtime from your phone, tablets and laptop with no buffering issues whatsoever. So the speakers do come fully featured with a new set remote, allowing you to adjust everything from the volume, switching inputs, mute sound, or even connect it to new Bluetooth devices. The design of the remote with its modern sleek feel puts the power in your hands. It's easy to use and fits right in the palm of your hand, providing the ultimate comfort and allowing you for a better experience. So every aspect of these speakers is designed with purpose. The medium density fiberboard MDF enclosure reducing the resonance. The base of the speakers is angled at around 10 degrees, including the dynamic position and delivery. The design of the angle directs the sound from the woofers right to your ears, producing around 70 watts of balanced quality tunes. So the active bookshelf speakers stand out in both their categories as style and amazing performance with its four inch mid-range woofer speaker drivers creating rich lows. Meanwhile, the treble units produce clear highs, a perfectly tuned bookshelf speaker that suits your needs. If you do wanna go check out one of these for yourself, if you head down the links in the description, there'll be a link there so you can go check them out for yourself. So yes, that was just a little bit of specifications about these speakers. I didn't wanna waste your time too much because I know you were all keen to figure out what these sound like. So I'm going to sort out the room, get some music going, and we'll see what these can do. Let's go. So what I've done is I've got a song loaded up. I've got it on a zero treble, zero bass, and moderate level. So we're going to go from there and amp it up. So there's going to be some side shots as well from the camera here, looking at the dampers actually physically moving so we can get a good angle. And then I'll slowly start increasing, and I'll stop in between, increase the bass, the treble, the volume, and we'll pretty much go from there. So... Let's get this going. So, like I said, this is no bass, zero treble, and moderate volume, so. Right, first of all, I've got zero bass and zero treble on right now. It is zero, zero, and moderate volume. So I'm just going to chuck the treble on and the bass all the way up, and we'll go from there because it sounded amazing. So start again. So with treble and with bass. So I know the <laughs> so the speakers I did last time from Edify were amazing, and I think these are pretty, but just just knocked it out of the park altogether. So that was treble on full, bass on full, and still moderate volume. So we're talking about maybe 30, 40 percent. I'm gonna try it turning the volume all the way up. So if you are watching, either turn it down or put headphones in or take them out or whatever you need to do. Because that was loud on moderate, so it's going to be interesting what it's like. I'm going to switch the song to more of a drop song, so I apologize for your hearing. So, I'll load one up now. So, soundtracks, we'll go for Dude Patrick. Christ almighty. Jesus Christ. So, yes, I apologize if you had that on high volume and it hurt your ears. I do apologize, but that was insane. So, my microphone is sat literally right there. I dropped it down a little bit so I could get the bass and everything properly. And then the side profile camera was recording the dampers moving to see roughly what it sounded like. And even though the the speakers are facing towards the camera. I could feel the air pumping up the back of the speakers. Now, if my neighbors already don't hate me, they definitely hate me now. So 
I apologize to them. Now that was unbelievable. So that was full uh, treble, full bass and full volume. And as soon as that dropped, I felt it in my chest and I generally thought, I was like, wow, that hit me. That hit me like a ton of bricks and that was unbelievable. So yeah, like I said, when I went through the specifications, um, it's using Bluetooth version 5.0 because I've got it running through Bluetooth at the moment, but you can run it through your audio lines, coaxial, optical and all that good stuff as well. And there is a sub out uh, outlet on the back as well. Now, God oh my, that was incredible. The sound alone was amazing. But these are a beautiful um, sight of speakers. Yes, they are bookshelf speakers and they do have a slight 10 degree tilt. So they do add aesthetically as well. So they do look very, very pleasing. And like I said, they've changed the audio cable as well to a thick black cable, which allows for better sound output as well as and connectivity. And they're just unbelievable. So the sound quality alone, what you've just heard there is all right, but I will dull it down a bit in the edit just so it doesn't hurt your ears too much. So I do urge you, if you go grab a pair of these for yourself, links will all be down in the description so you can go have a look. But they are an unbelievable pair of speakers. Uh, but guys, please go have a look at them. They are an um, unbelievable pair of speakers for whatever you want to do for these, which is either going to be in your studio, outdoor, indoor, you name it. Wherever you play these, they're going to sound absolutely amazing. But like I said, you don't have to have them with the face shields off. They do look absolutely unbelievable with the face shields on as well. And they just slide on just as nicely uh, and they just look as good as well as. So guys, if you are interested, head down the links in the description. But in the end of the day, guys, I'm Junius Tech, and I hope you did enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my further videos. And by the way, the giveaway video is currently being edited. Enjoy.